Greetings. Welcome to EDTV News Channel, the People's Channel. In this report, we have some shootings and some dropouts for talk about. And also a breaking news. Stay tuned for the full reports. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So people, we'll start off with the breaking news. Bujobantan's son, Miles Myri, reportedly passed away. So we'll get into the report. Son of reggae dancer veteran, Bujobantan, Miles Myri has passed away. It is not clear when or under what circumstances Miles passed away. Earlier today, his brother, Jazil Myri, shared a photo of the pair in his Instagram stories as he seemingly mourned the loss of his sibling. Along with a broken art emoji, the post featured Popcorn's mournful single, Only Jan No. Bujubantan or other siblings have not commented online on the matter so far. He is said to be in his 20s and his Bujubantan youngest son, per report. Very sad story, people. Condolences goes out to Bujubantan and his family for the loss of his youngest son. Now, people, we'll move on. This time to the parish of Anover. Two shot, one fatally. So we'll get into the report. The police in Anover are probing a bizarre incident in which a shopkeeper was shot and taken out and another man injured at Montpelier District in Sandy Bay, Anover last night. An illegal firearm was also seized and a motor car shot up during the incident, the police said. The dropout man has been identified as 63-year-old Clinton Moody, a shopkeeper from the district. The injured man, who is 76-year-old, has since been treated at hospital. It was reported that around 8.05 p.m., a man was seated in his park black 2012 Toyota Mark X at a shop operated by Moody. He reportedly heard several loud explosions and immediately drove away. His vehicle later developed mechanical difficulties and he abandoned it and ran towards his home. When the shooting subsided, Moody was seen lying on his back over the shop counter with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to his upper body and area. The other man was seen suffering from a gunshot wound to his left hand. The police were summoned. On their arrival, sees a rusty-looking Browning double-action 9mm pistol with a magazine containing five cartridges. The firearm was reportedly found in close proximity to Moody. The injured man was subsequently taken to the hospital for treatment. The black Toyota Mark X was seen parked at a section of the community with several bullet holes in the bonnet and windscreen. Moody was later transported to the Noel Home Hospital in Lucy, where he was pronounced, you know what. Now, people, we are moving on to the Garden Parish of Jamaica, St. Anne, where badness gone down. So we'll get into the report. The body of a man was found with multiple gunshot wounds in Claremont sentence today. He has since been identified as 56-year-old Alcan Rose, otherwise called Box or Badness. The police report that residents report hearing explosion around 10.30 last night near the Fesco service station. This morning, Around 7.30, residents discovered the lifeless body of the deceased and contacted the Claremont police. When the police arrived, Rose was found on his back with what appeared to be multiple gunshot wounds to the head area and chest. The scene was processed and the body taken to the St. Bay Regional Hospital 
where he was confirmed, you know what? Investigation are ongoing. Now people will move to the parish of St. James, where four charge after gun found at a popular Montego Bay beach. So we will get into the police report. Four people, including a teen, were arrested and charged after an illegal weapon was reportedly found in their possession at Aqua Saltwater Fletcher Beach in Montego Bay, St. James, earlier today. They have been charged with possession of prohibited weapon and ammunition. No court date was given for the accused. They are Kenroy Kenil Gill, 26, Deliverman, Shaquille Shakur Williams, 28, Tian Tom Blake, 19, all from Granville, St. James, and Sheehan Lee Bennett, a supervisor from Norwood in the parish. Reports are that about 12.20 a.m., police were on duty at the Aqua Sal Water Fletcher Beach in Montego Bay when they observed a 2012 white Nissan AD wagon motor car entering the compound. Williams, Gill, and Bennett were seated in the vehicle while Blake stood on the outside leaning inside and talking with them, the police said. The police were walking towards a motor car to have the driver remove the vehicle from blocking the entrance when they observed all four accused shuffling inside. This arose the suspicion of the police. The police accosted the four accused and requested a search of the motor car. During the search, one black canic elite pistol loaded with a magazine containing 10 9mm cartridges was found under the rear seat, the police said. The accused were arrested and escorted to the Montego Bay police station with the firearm and ammunition. The motor car was placed on a wrecker and towed to the station. The four accused were subsequently charged. No people, last but not least, were head to the parish of Clarendon. One dropout, two hospitalized in Clarendon Collision. One man dropout and two people have been hospitalized following a collision on the Savannah Cross Main Road in Clarendon last night. The deceased has been identified as Alton Eels 45 of St. John's Road address in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. The police say the accident happened at about 7.10 p.m. on the Boston Monte Highway in the vicinity of the Savannah Cross intersection in the parish. Reports are that the driver of the Toyota Pro Box was driving from Savannah Cross and upon reaching the intersection, he collided with a Honda SUV which was coming from Mineral Eyes. Upon the impact, the Pro Box overturned, taking off the driver a female was inside this vehicle, vehicle, treated at hospital along with the other driver of the Honda SUV. The area where the accident happened is noted a crash at spot. So there you have it, people. Please leave your comments in the comment section and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good, blessings.